Hello guys, this is Only Abidoang and today I'm gonna talk about the new update for The Sims 4 that came out just recently on 3rd of September 2020. It's a fairly small update but there's a game changing feature that has been added which might interest some of you, especially builders. Without going further, let's take a look at what's changed or added in this update that can probably make you forget about the upcoming Star Wars pack for a second. So in the previous update released around June, windows can finally be placed freely both horizontally and vertically if you press the alt key while placing them. But unfortunately, you couldn't place windows above each other even if there's enough space. You could use the bb.moveobjects on sheet, but the windows would appear broken. Now in this month's update, windows can finally be placed by stacking them above each other without needing to use the cheat and it'll appear fine this time. To be honest, I'm not a builder myself so I don't have strong feelings with this feature, but I can see that many of you will be ecstatic with this addition. Also there's a limit on how many windows you can place on a wall segment, but you can still use the same bb.moveobjects cheat to prevent that limitation. Besides placing windows on top of each other, you can also place windows on top of doors. Another addition on this patch is a small one. Usually when you're in a vacation world such as Granite Falls or Selva Dorada, you cannot get married there which is a bit unrealistic. But now you can finally have your wedding in these vacation lots. Wanna get married in the middle of a jungle? Go ahead! But weirdly enough, you still cannot marry using the wedding arches while in the vacation worlds. You can only use the elope immediately option to get married here. This other addition is more technical. After updating the game, if you take a look at the Sims 4 folder where you usually place mods, there's a new folder created called config override that has no contents in it. This folder's function is for you to place a copy of these three files, default.ini, graphicscards.sgr, and graphicsrules.sgr located in the game's directory folder, and then edit them there if needed instead of editing the original files directly. The edited version will then override the original one once you start the game. These files are a bit advanced, so unless you know what you're doing, I suggest not to edit them without any guidance. And finally, I'm going to be showcasing some of the small changes and bug fixes introduced in this patch. There was a bug where if you purchase a reward trait and then hover at it on the rewards catalog, the text will say, not available for robots. This has been fixed to show the correct text. The background art of the career panel UI has been changed so the picture won't appear stretched anymore. There was this other bug where if you turn on bb.moveobjects cheat and place several windows of the same type in basement levels, you can see flickering shadows around the windows. This has also been fixed. The color swatch icon of the large dancing water emitter object showed a different color variant before. It has been fixed to show the correct color swatch. Staircases will no longer get cut through exterior trims when the staircase gets placed with no landing. In Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, there was a bug where Sims working in a civil designer career will come home from work wearing random footwear. This has been fixed. This specific child hairstyle introduced in Sims 4 Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack has additional row of color swatches, which cannot normally be accessed by children. In this update, it gets removed, which is pretty weird because I can't believe they really removed an accidental additional content there. There are also some other fixes that I cannot showcase in game, so I'm just gonna read the rest of them. Fix an issue in which lots with applied terrain manipulation were being placed backwards when downloaded from the gallery. Fix an issue in which the rain paint did not apply correctly under trees or foundations. For Discover University expansion pack, some flowers and trees in Gibbs Hill, which is a district from the new world introduced in this pack, will no longer appear to be floating as Sims walk by. For Eco Lifestyle expansion pack, fix an issue that caused some color swatch glitches on civil designer outfits. For Realm of Magic game pack, fix an issue with thumbnails generated in the gallery for toddlers that generated not only their sim form but also included their spellcaster form. And finally, for Nifty Knitting stuff pack, fix a bug where the sounds of knitting can still be heard even after the sim cancelled the knitting interaction. So those are all the changes and additions introduced on the new update added on 3rd of September 2020. If you want to take a look at the full update notes, I already provided the link to it in the description. Thank you so much guys for watching the Sims 4 update showcase. I hope you like it and if you want more Sims videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. See you later!